All right, Kevin, thank you. The Detroit Windsor Dance Academy helping young people discover their passions and build their talents. The Academy is hosting its annual Crystal Ball Gala next weekend to raise money for the organization. Deborah J. White Hunt and Alicia Hollowell are joining us live. Ladies, good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, thank you for coming in so early on this Friday morning. Uh, Deborah, let's start with you. 35 years for the organization, going strong, 23 years for this Crystal Ball. Tell us, how does this Crystal Ball benefit the organization? This is our major fundraiser for the year. Mm -hmm. And because of this fundraiser, we're able to supply scholarships for dancers that either have a lot of talent, that audition or those that can't afford to maybe pay for classes on their own. All right. And because of the sponsors that we have, such as Tanya Allen and uh, the Moltons and Ascension and um, ooh, Greek, Town. Greek uh -huh. Town Casino, thank you. You yes. know, we're able to do this. And if people attend, what can they expect? they can expect to have a ball. Uh -huh. You know, because we're artists and we're dancers, we have a lot of fun. It's not like a stuffy, not to say anything about anyone else, but mm -hmm. we just have fun. It's a time for us to just, you know, be ourselves and celebrate. You know, we're gonna have black and white mm -hmm. um, colors with a touch of jade. <laughs> and <clears throat> we have these mannequins that are, will be set up with different ball gowns from previous years that I've worn. We have an artist that will be there painting bodies. Yes. Uh, we have silent, silent auction. auction. Well, we have various wonderful artists from Detroit that have donated their items to help us raise funds because they, you know, they support us and they care about the things that we're doing in the community. And we're looking at video from past years. I mean, it's oh. an extravagant event. Alicia, you're a talented dancer. Um, how long have you been with the organization and how have has the organization benefit you in achieving your goals with dancing? Yeah, I've been dancing with Detroit Windsor for 21 years, wow. and it has helped to sort of set the foundation for my dance uh, training and background. I've minored in dance at Michigan State. I've taught dance at Detroit Windsor for approximately 10 years. Um, it's really just helped me to de uh, develop and blossom as a person and a dancer. And I mean, it's important to mention that your organization, Deborah, worked with Aretha Franklin yes. for many years. Yes. Um, and just talk about, I mean, the work and reaching out to young talent in Detroit. I mean, we have so many talented individuals yes, who start know. dancing at a young age. Mm -hmm. And you just alluded to it a moment ago where this kind of event helps provide scholarships and et cetera mm -hmm. for those people. Yes, it does. And our people, they start dancing with us. Some of them continue to dance. What was that the youngest? I'm just curious. The youngest yeah. dancer is two. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the oldest is, I think, 73. My dad used to be at 95, mm -hmm. but he passed on. But yeah, we don't, um, it doesn't matter to us how old you are, as long as you to teach you. Mm -hmm. and, and our dancers go all over the world doing everything. Where dancing. do they travel? They travel. We've traveled. When Alicia was uh, dancing younger, we went to Cape Town, South Africa. Mm -hmm. We've been to other parts of Africa. We've been to um, all over the United States, New York, California, Hollywood. Yeah, folks in Belgium. Mm. Belgium, yes. We have dance teachers that are in Dubai mm -hmm. and wow. Korea. So it's also important to mention that you're giving these people exposure too. Oh, absolutely. All right. That's very important. You know, you got to see what's out here and experience it. Absolutely. Yes. Deborah, Alicia, ladies, thank you very thank much. You, and I'll be at the Crystal Ball next weekend. You saw the information on your screen. Next Saturday, November 3rd at the St. Regis Hotel from 6 until 11 p.m. So come on out, support the cause. Thank you, so thank much. you. You got it, you got it. <laughs> An amazing story of determination in Clarkson. You can watch her every Friday supporting her football team from the sidelines. Coming up in our six o'clock hour, you'll meet the 16-year-old cheerleader who proves nothing is impossible.